And in our top business story, the Dubai Islamic Economy Development Center will launch a number of initiatives this year that will enhance and grow the Islamic economy. Mohammed Abdullah Al Gagawi, the chairman of the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Executive Office and chairman of the center, made the announcement, confirming that they would continue to set an ambitious course in 2015. He stated that we aim to articulate the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, to make Dubai the global capital of Islamic economy and contribute to the overall economic progress of the Emirate and the wider UAE. Current projects focus on knowledge, halal product standards, Islamic finance criteria, conferences and fairs, while new initiatives include the launch of an international centre for governance of Islamic companies, an international centre for the accreditation of halal products, and the launch of a first-of-its-kind digital portal on the Islamic economy. Essa Kazim, the Secretary General of the DIEDC and Governor of the Dubai International Financial Centre, added that the centre is built on the seven pillars of finance, the halal industry, tourism, digital infrastructure, art, knowledge and Islamic standards. Sharia-compliant economic activities currently account for 11% of the global economy. The Islamic economy sector is on course to achieve accelerated growth in the immediate future at the rate of 10 to 15% annually. Foreign direct investment in the UAE stood at 223 billion dirhams from 2006 to 2013. That's according to the UAE's Minister of Economy, bringing its total balance to 387 billion dirhams from various countries around the world. His Excellency Saeed Al-Mansouri added that the UAE has streamlined FDI, especially in logistics, and quoted a 2014 report by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, saying that the UAE was able to attract around 10.5 billion US dollars of FDI during 2013. That's compared to 9.6 billion in 2012, a growth of 9.2%. He also projected an increase in the UAE's GDP to more than 1.54 trillion dirhams in 2014. That's compared to 1.47 trillion in 2013, an approximate growth of 4.8%. Al-Mansouri's comments come as the UAE Ministry of Economy announced that it has stepped up its preparations for the fifth annual investment meeting, which is to be held from the 30th of March to April the 1st at the Dubai International Convention and Exhibition Center. The AIM, which will be held under the theme, Sustainable Development Through FDI-Induced Innovation and Technology Transfer, has attracted over 500 companies from more than 140 countries, with innovation as the main discussion topic. Workshops and several business deals will be held on the sidelines of the forum, which will also see the launch of the second FDI report 2015. The majority of UA internet users who lost money to online fraud transactions were unable to recover stolen funds, that's according to a recent survey. A study from Kaspersky Lab and B2B International shows that only 44% of respondents in the UA reported that they could fully regain their losses. 28% of victims received only partial compensation and 28% could not recover any money at all. Recent figures show that over half of users in the UA faced financial cyber threats at least once during the previous year. 28% of respondents said that they thought such attacks were rare while only 24% were afraid that they would become a victim of online fraud. The study also showed that the average sum stolen was 243 US dollars, and nearly one quarter at 22% of respondents lost 1,000 US dollars or more. Halal food is one of the biggest drivers of tourism for the Muslim market, and the halal tourism sector was worth 140 billion US dollars in 2013, a figure that is expected to reach 192 billion by 2020. 
off the back of this, a new app to simplify the travel experience of Muslims through a food spotting feature has been launched, allowing users to share and rate halal food across the world. Halal Trip, one of the world's biggest online travel agents for halal travel, announced the launch, making place discovery and trip planning for millions of travelers a lot easier. The new app brings together two key essential travel resources for Muslims, halal food discovery and prayer times. The company also revealed that features such as city guides and hotel booking will be added shortly. The app allows users to spot halal food dishes while on their travels, as well as upload images, comment and share via social media to millions across the world. The app, which has both an English and Arabic user interface, also integrates Crescent Ratings in-flight prayer time calculator, which allows users to work out prayer times and directions instantly while on board a plane.